All right, here's the second part, the rest of the solutions to the study guide. Using the rational zero theorem, do you know how to create a list? So we look at the last number and think of all the numbers that go into it evenly. That's one, and you have to remember to go plus and minus. That's one, that's two, that's three, four, six. And then sometimes they think, oh, what's four times what? There it is, three times what? two times what? And then the last one's the easy one. Now this one is for uh, my HP kiddos. Can you create a list where you have two that we're talking about? So we're going to put them above and below. So above, I'm going to do this. So all the numbers that go into 14. Then underneath, all the numbers that go into 5. So we have the last number and the first number, and then we divide all combinations. So what's 1 divided by 1? What's 2 divided by 1? What's 7 divided by 1? 14 divided by 1? I know it's blurry. Uh, and then do the same thing with 5. So 1 divided by 5, uh, 2 divided by 5, 7 divided by 5, and uh, 14 divided by 5. And there you go. And that's the complete list. Can you simplify complex numbers? So we're going to multiply this out. This is foiling. So 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3i, 2 times negative i. Then I'm going to write it out. I'm going to combine like terms. And then I'm going to recognize that i squared is negative 1. Negative times a negative is plus 3. And then the real number comes first, and then the imaginary. So 10 plus 3, that's where 13 comes from. The second box, adding and subtracting, we're subtracting. So 6 subtract negative 8. Maybe what we need to do is we need to distribute. So a negative times a negative is positive 8. A negative times a positive is negative, so that I can see it. So it's 6 plus 8, that's 14. Negative 2 and negative 2 together, that's negative 4i. All right, this is for the HP friends here, dividing. We have to do what's called the conjugate. So the opposite sign, top and bottom. So that is negative 27i plus 6i squared. So 9, so we multiply and multiply. And that's negative 9a squared on the bottom. Then plug in your negative 1. And so I have negative 6 minus 27i over positive 9. And then I'm going to separate it. So we have the real number, and then we have the imaginary number. Divide by 3, and 27 divided by 9 is, is 3, so we're good. And there's our answer. OK, again, for this one, we're going to do the conjugate. So the um, only the imaginary number am I going to change the sign? So instead of positive 5i, negative 5i. Uh, we need two, two boxes to FOIL. So we have 1 minus 2i and 6 and negative 5i. And then we multiply it out. And we need a second one for the denominator. But that one's going to be easier because it's a difference of squares. What does that mean? So when we multiply it out, the middle terms are going to cross out. So these negative 30 and positive 30 cross out. So the numerator here is 6 minus 17i and then 10i squared. So right away, instead of i squared, I'm going to put in negative 1. We have 36 and then minus 25 and again i squared. So instead of i squared, again, I'm going to put in negative 1. So this is 6 subtract 10. That's where negative 4 comes from. And then 
a negative times a negative is positive. So it's 36 plus 25. Ooh, that's 61. So I know how to add. And then I'm going to separate it. So we have negative 4 over 61 minus 17 over 61i. And you did it. All right, turn the page. Now we're going to work backwards. If I give you the zeros, can you tell me the equation that this comes from? So first of all, the opposite number is the factor. So can we write every zero as a factor using the opposite number that makes it zero? Then we're going to FOIL. So I'm going to tell you, we can draw a box, and we're going to FOIL and then FOIL again. So let's do that. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 4. And we're going to multiply it out. And then that answer, we're going to do a 2 by 3 right here. So this answer, which is x squared minus 4 and minus 3, and then positive 12, goes on one side. And then x plus 1, that answer gets multiplied by x plus 1. And then multiply again. So x times x squared, x times negative 7x, x times 12. 1 times x squared, 1 times negative 7x, 1 times 12. And then this is my answer. So my answer here is uh, x cubed minus 7x squared. Oh, and I got to combine it there. So minus, so negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. So let's change that. 12 and minus 7 is positive 5, and then 12. All right, let's do it again, this time with fractions. So one half, you take the denominator and slide it in front and use the opposite sign. So if it's positive, it becomes negative. Here we have positive 3, and here we have negative 8. Again, we're going to, order doesn't matter, but we have to multiply it out. So we have 2x minus 1, we have x plus 3. And then we multiply it out. Then we're going to draw a 2 by 3. So the answer here is 2x squared minus, oh, plus 5x uh, minus 3. And on the side is x plus 3. So we're going to multiply it out. That's 2x cubed, 5x squared minus 3x. That's 6x squared, 15x minus 9. And then there's my answer. So combine like terms, 6 plus 5 is 11x squared. 15, take away 3, that's 12x, and then minus 9. And this equation has these zeros. All right, again, we're going to go and do the opposite number. So even if it's irrational, it's like if it was po negative, it becomes positive. If it's positive, it becomes negative. And the negative 1 is plus 1. So we have x and positive root 2, x and negative root 2, so x times x. Now, this root 2x and negative root 2x, that's going to cross out. Uh, root 2 times root 2 is the square root of 4, which is just 2. So when we multiply it together, it's just negative 2. And these cross out. So what you're left with as an answer is x squared minus 2. If you take x squared subtract 2 equal to 0 and solve it, those are your answers. Then we have x plus 1 on the side. We just need a 2 by 2 again. And you have your answer. So the answer is x cubed uh, plus x squared minus 2x minus 2. Done. All right, let's do it again here. So we have x minus root 3, x plus root 3 x minus 2i and x plus 2i. So there are my factors I'm going to multiply out. The first two, x and negative root 3, x and positive root 3. Again, the middle terms are going to cross out. 
know that the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, like 3 times 3 is 9, and the square root of 9 is just 3, and it's negative. So uh, we're going to do the same thing here with the uh, last two parentheses, x and negative 2i, x plus 2i. And again, they're going to cross out the ones that look complicated. Be careful here with the last one, but 2ix and negative 2ix, they cross out. And so we need one more box at the end. Do you remember these cross out? And again, just need a 2 by 2. So this is x squared, take away 3. Here, this is these cross out. It's x squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1. So this is x squared plus 4, because a negative times a negative make it plus 4. Multiply it out. And then you have your answer. So it's x to the fourth plus 1x squared minus 12. All right, these are for my um, HP friends, the last two. So if you're in CP, you finish the study guide. Take pictures and, uh, anyway, not take, you should bring it to class, right? Because you, you get to use it on your exam. Honors does not get to use this on your exam, but you get to study from it. All right, so we're going to go x subtract use parentheses and x subtract use parentheses and then x plus 7. The first one's the challenge, but then it gets easier. So I'm going to distribute the negative. So that's negative 3 and negative i, and then this is negative 3 negative times negative is positive i, and then I'm going to multiply it out. A bunch of things are going to cross out when I do that. So I'm going to multiply each box. Now i, x, and negative i, x, negative 3i, positive 3i. I'm going to draw a 2 by 3 and so my answer is going to go here which is x squared negative 3 and negative 3 is negative 6x and then negative i squared remember that negative times negative 1 that's a positive 1 so it's 9 plus 1 which is 10 and then on the side is x plus 7 and then multiply it out so it's x cubed minus 6x squared and then 10x 7x squared, negative 42x, and 70. And then the answer I'm just going to put underneath here. So it's x cubed uh, plus 1x squared minus 32x uh, plus 70. All right, last one. So the setup, these are irrational. So we're going to go x subtract, use parentheses. x subtract, use parentheses. And same thing here, x subtract 1 and x plus 1, or sorry, x subtract i, x plus i. Again, we need a 3 by 3 here. So we have x minus 2 and minus root 3, x minus 2, and then a negative times a negative is positive root 3, and then multiply it out. So each box I'm going to multiply out. Now 3 times 3 is 9. So the square root of 9 is just 3. So it's negative 3. I'm going to do the same thing here. But I need a 2 by 2 for x minus i and x plus i. That's x squared minus xi positive xi, and then negative i squared. These cross out. Negative i squared is a negative times a negative, which is 1. So what we're left with, we need a 2 by 3. So this answer here, remember root 3x, uh, negative x, those cross out. These cross out. We have x squared minus 4x 
and uh, four take away three, which is one. And then on the other side, we have x squared plus one. And we're going to multiply that out. So x to the fourth minus 4x cubed, positive x squared, positive x squared, minus 4x, uh, positive 1. So here's our answer at the end. It's x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. That's 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. That's it. All right, Mr. G Math over and out. Till next time, I'm proud of you for finishing the study guide. I know you're going to do awesome on the exam. Good luck.